Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be helping you guys out with the dreaded error message. Everyone sees this message. If you have never seen this error message in before while you've been playing DayZ, then you are not a true DayZ player. There's a, some quite simple fixes and if it doesn't fix after you've watched this video, then I'm sorry. You might as well just give up and uninstall DayZ or just play a different server. Happy days. But if this tutorial did help you out, please leave a like and a subscription. If you need any more help, join my Discord server, link in the description. And I'll see you in a second when I give you some tips on how to fix this dreaded error. So recently I actually had an error. And I was thinking, hmm, what could this be? So I went to my folder and I went to my Daisy installation route. Now that's where I want you guys to go. So my Daisy installation route is on my hard drive. It's on my Steam library, Steam apps, common Daisy. Now in here I have my files. So as you can see, these are mods here. These ones here, all mods. But I want you guys to go into add-ons and every single one of these .pbo's, you might not see .pbo. If you do not see .pbo, what you want to do is you want to head over to view and where it says item checkboxes, make sure you've got that enabled. Make sure you enable hidden items as well just in case anything's hidden here that shouldn't be. But all of these should have a buy sign underneath it. So AI should have a buy sign, animals should have a buy sign. Now in here you might see a rogue PBO, so maybe you'll see something like another PBO like this. Maybe let's say you'll see something called like hello and it shouldn't be in there. That, that should not be in there. So you would delete that and make sure that all of these have a buy sign underneath it. If they don't have a buy sign, what you want to do is you want to head over to Steam. And you want to right click Daisy properties, go to local files and verify integrity of game files. Now, just to make sure that you were not missing any PBOs as well, ask a friend to do the same as you and check his if his does work. So that is the first thing that you could have a problem with. Now, the second but most effective and ways that normally do work is just uninstalling the mod and reinstalling the mod. So I'm going to go to my Steam button here. I'm going to go to my profile. And then when I'm on my profile, I'm going to click workshop items. Now here it will show up your workshop items when it actually loads up. So as you can see, these are my workshop items. And what I want to do now is I want to head over to subscribed items and then here shows all your subscription items. So as you can see I've got CF here, CBA, this is from Armour 3, these are all Armour 3 but CF is Daisy. So what you want to do is where it says subscribed you want to click unsubscribe, then you want to click on this again, wait for it to load. And then you want to click subscribe once again. Now this is reinstalling a fresh install of the mod. And that means it should reinstall everything. So maybe the signature will now appear there. Now if you're still getting the same issue from that mod that you've recently just uninstalled. You still want to go back to your daisy root. And inside of the dash workshop folder remember you need to have view hidden item names so you can actually see where these are just highlight them and how you would normally do right click and delete them now something really simple that you might not think is so simple is make sure you've actually got that mod loaded so the ways you would check that if you are joining the server with a normal daisy launcher so you've got the daisy launcher the one that actually comes with the game you're trying to join a server and it's saying you're missing the CF file key. As you can see in here, guess what? I don't have the loaded mod CF in here. So I need to make sure to load that. Now also, if you were to go on to DayZSA Launcher, if you have this enabled, 
if you don't have this, I do recommend using Daisy SA Launcher a lot. That'll be on the website if you just search it up on Google. But if you look at the service here, it does tell you the mods that it uses. So this uses Camo Net Plus, Earplugs, Notes, Weapon Redux Pack. And if you are getting an error that says you are missing notes, then what you would do with this launcher is this creates its own folder. You know how Daisy creates a workshop folder? This creates Daisy SA launcher, and then you want to go in here and delete that mod yourself. Or when you go to mods, you can actually click this circle and it basically verifies the mod. So if it is missing anything, it will reinstall it just like it would do when you are clicking on install. If that still doesn't work and there's no one actually on that server, you need to obviously tell the server owner because it's something to do with his end. Now, another one of your issues is that it may the mod may not actually be signed. And this could be an issue on your side that you've not downloaded the mod correctly or it could be the server owners or the mod owners side now normally it wouldn't be their side it'll probably be yours but to t make sure that you do have signatures I'm gonna go in bin Takistan new this is Takistan that I've recently ported over and as you can see I've got a2 roads underneath every one of these PBOs all these PBOs are signed so we've got world signed We've got Navmesh signed, we've got signs signed. And if you've got all of these, that means that you do have signatures for all of these. And then these should technically, in a realistic life, they should work. But it is Daisy, and does things work? No, they don't. Now, also another server issue is, is the mod might have been updated by the author of the mod, and the actual server itself hasn't updated it, but your client side has updated it. If you also think that that's an issue, obviously let the server owner know if you know that it's been updated and he hasn't updated it and that should hopefully fix it also. Now in these errors, you get two different errors. One of them says client contains and one of them says server contains. Now there's two different things there client and server client is obviously you and server is the server that the game runs on the server that you do join so if it says client contains that means it's your issue yes you and if it says server then guess what it's a server's issue and you can blame it all on someone else because we all love to do that Now, sorry, I haven't really been uploading too much. I am a very busy man. As of lately, I've been making this. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I think most of you big gamers will know if you do watch this. But uh, yeah, I've been making this. Um, it's taken a while. I've also been doing a lot of models. Um, I do want to do some gameplay at some point when I get some free time to actually be able to play Daisy and not mod it. But I do appreciate all you guys watching this video. Please leave a like and a subscription if this video did help you out. I've also got a million other tutorials if you do want to learn anything. Make sure to check out my channel. If you do need any advanced or more help, please join my Discord server link in the description or leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And if you're not already followed my Twitch, what the hell are you doing? Because I stream on there loads. Well, maybe not. But thank you guys. See you guys later. Adios, amigos.